Welcome to Quick Rip. Big B here with you. Hey, I hope you're doing well out there, fight fans. So I'm sitting around here on this most excellent Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend, enjoying a lime cerveza. Uh, it's actually called Fiesta from Parallel 49 Brewing Company. They're out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I would highly recommend uh, if you can get your hands on a can of this. Uh, it's, it's a little taste of paradise. Uh, no matter how cold the weather might be outside or, you know, chilly fall, uh, this kind of reminds you of sitting on a Mexico beach. So uh, I'm also smoking on some of my homegrown uh, Agent Orange uh, outdoor, just au naturel, th tossed, tossed the seed in and... Uh, Gave her some water and some TLC, you know, she grew. So I'm enjoying my uh, my Thanksgiving long weekend here. Sitting around, having a drink, having some tokes, and uh, thinking about Conor McGregor. That's fucking weird, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, the one, the only, the notorious Conor McGregor. It's a curious case here because what's next? Is he going to fight? Uh... Who's he going to fight? When's he going to fight? Is he just not going to fight? There's so many fucking questions here. And zero answers, really. Now, there's clues, obviously. Um, lately, Conor McGregor's been, been dropping a lot of training videos. He's looking fucking beefy. He's looking powerful. Uh, there's that video that uh, his most recent one was, was him dropping... His uh, sparring partner with a left didn't even look like much, but obviously it's, uh, it, uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to get hit with Conor McGregor's left. Not many fucking people on this planet do. So it seems like he's keeping in shape. He, not only in shape, but um, to me, it looks like he's, get, he's getting fight ready. Now, is this just a show? Is it, uh, he just wants to stay sharp for, for Roadhouse? There's many scenarios here. Um, I don't believe it's just for, for Hollywood. I, I mean, the way that he's training and uh, these wrestling videos and grappling videos that he's putting out, I mean, he's fucking working. There's no doubt he's fucking working. So hopefully that means some good news on the, on the fight forecast because let's be honest, folks, love him or hate him, everybody loves a Conor McGregor fight, right? I can't wait to see him uh, back inside the octagon. Now, don't get me wrong; it's it's not what it used to be um, back in the in the Conor McGregor era, if you want to call it, uh, where where he was so dominant, both uh, with his trash talk and and the way he backed it up inside the cage, is kind of made what made him so fucking special. He's still special. There's no doubt. He's still an absolute fucking stud of a superstar. Um, legions and legions of fans, and the funny thing about Conor McGregor is is his haters pay more attention to him than his fucking fans, and 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 I mean, if you're doing that, you're you're fucking you're winning. You're do, you're doing definitely doing something right. Um, now you got Conor McGregor currently, as I say, uh, looks like he's in filming uh, for this new Roadhouse, which. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit stoked about it. Uh, I'm not going to get my expectations level levels all that high because uh, a lot of times it's just not the same as the original, right? Very seldomly it's better than the original, so... But you never know. We'll see what this one, what this one brings. Definitely going to check it out. Now, is that going to lead to more Hollywood opportunities for the notorious um the more hollywood opportunities obviously he gets the more bank that he can collect and uh the less fighting he'll do so there's another scenario too you never know what the future may hold here but that's why it's so fucking curious and that's why it's fun to get into this i mean not only does he have hollywood i mean he's got his He's got his other businesses going. I don't know how many fucking businesses this dude has going now. Uh, countless. I mean, his opportunities are endless. And 
the only reason that that Conor McGregor is is even would even entertain the idea of a fucking cage fight at this point uh, is because it's something that he loves. Obviously, he loves MMA. Obviously, he's a fighter when it comes down to it. Um, so I don't know. I, I I mean, I'm just thinking thinking out loud here with you folks. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, are we going to see McGregor again? If so, who do you want to see him fight? Which leads us to another fucking question. What weight class is he going to fucking come back at? Now, there's a lot of talk from from a lot of 155ers lately. Um, and, I mean, it goes both ways. I mean, McGregor's not innocent by any means, but uh, the bottom line is, is McGregor going to be able to make 155? I mean, he looks heavy. He, he looks like he's gunning for 170. And if that's the case, the fight that I personally would like to see is uh, him versus Masvidal at 170. I think it would be an excellent entry-level uh, fight into a new weight class for Connor. And, I mean, there's there's been heat there for a long time. <laughs> And let's be honest, Mosfidal's not what he used to be, so it's not like you'd be exactly feeding uh, McGregor to the Lions, so to speak, uh, at, at 170. To me, that, 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 that fight makes the most sense. If he's going to go 170, uh, it, to me it's got to be Mosfidal because who else, who else at 170, really? Um, I mean, you get higher in the rankings. I, I just don't see it. There's no, there's no fucking way he gets a title shot at, at 170, coming off of. Uh, I mean, we're we're a year removed from from the nasty fucking leg break against Poirier. Uh, that was a July, so we're looking almost year and a half now, um, with no fights. Plus, you haven't fought at 170. Throw throw out all the title title shot talk. Uh, I don't believe that for one second. Even at 155, I don't think he gets a title shot. How How do you cut, get a title shot coming off of two losses? It's Even if you are Conor McGregor, it's just not going to happen. Not unless you at least fucking get a, a win first, right? But I'm thinking 170, Jorge Masvidal, Conor McGregor, uh, you know what, uh, to me, that stylistically, that excites me. Like I say, you have the beef there already. You don't really even fucking have to sell it. Um, obviously, they would. Both men would be uh, would be pretty good on the mic for that one. I'd like to see that press conference. And I, I don't know what else. I mean, uh, boxing, there's talk. There's always been talk, right? Since he fought Mayweather, there's always been talk of boxing. But I don't know. Uh, I'm personally not interested in seeing Conor McGregor box again, especially not against Mayweather. I mean, there was some mild talk about a, a rematch there with Mayweather. Why? It's just it's something that, that doesn't make any sense. Um, and I don't think it would make the dollars either. <laughs> Bad joke. Dad joke there. Uh, other than that, I mean... Uh, the big question is, Is are we going to see fucking Conor McGregor fight again inside the UFC? I believe so. I believe 2023, 20, he comes back. And I'm hoping, like I say, 170, Jorge Masvidal. Like I say, let me know who you want Conor McGregor to face if he returns. 155, I don't know. To me, 155, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. Although there was some bullshit. I don't even know what fucking site it was. I didn't even click it because it was just clickbait uh, saying that Conor McGregor confirmed that he's, his comeback fight is going to be Justin Gaethje at 155. It was just that one website that I've never heard of uh, reporting that and, and no major outlets or, or anybody else saying anything like that. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't take that one too seriously. Anyway, while you're there, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for listening to me ramble about Conor McGregor. Till next time, everybody, take care and peace.